Hi, I'm Vinyl Burns. I'm spending a big old exciting day in local Carterton City where the sun never shines. <laughs> Today I'm in Carterton City in the semi-south, deep south, mid-south Wairarapa. It's a small town or big, a big, a small city or small town. Anyway, it's quite overcast today. Carterton is known for a lot of things, possibly most noted for its 100% astrologically correct replica of Stonehenge. It's really spectacular. Stonehenge was invented in the United Kingdom over uh, four or five hundred years ago by I think the Mormons or Bob Geldof. I'm not too sure exactly, but some people invented it. And wherever you build a replica of Stonehenge anywhere in the world, it will almost always rain on it. That's weird truth that not a lot of people are aware of. Every Stonehenge is slightly different. This particular one, they built a little stage out the front of it. A little stage for uh, the local community groups and, and key clubs to uh, uh, put on little pantomimes and interactive improvised performances, usually in the summer, but sometimes in the middle of the winter, because in New Zealand it's all kind of just the same. It, they haven't really worked out climate, but that's almost always a good thing, except for the other half of the year where it's, it's complicated. Now Stonehenge is typically associated with medieval fertility rituals. They build a lot of uh, supplementary augmentary apparatus around the Stonehenge facilities to assist in the fertility rituals like this big crazy old sex chair. It's, it looks weird but it's real comfortable. Stonehenge is one of the most tidiest places in the whole world, helped in no small part by these beautiful green trash cans, compulsorily by New Zealand law. Stonehenge, it's Spanish for cleanliness. And not a lot of people realize that Stonehenge is typically associated with very competitive sporting interactions and sports, like competitions, games, and Olympic events, that sort of thing. It's not often front and center at a Stonehenge facility, but somewhere nearby, somewhere on the site, there will be uh, a tally, a kind of a sp scoreboard, if you sp sp scoreboard, if you will, commemorating all the great successes of the sporting interactions here at Stonehenge. This is called the stone board. It's like a scoreboard, but it's made of stone and tears and pain. Never forget. So that's it from me, Vinyl Burns here in sunny, tropical, beautiful, actually raining, not 
too cold. It's kind of temperate. It's comfortable. I'm not wearing a jumper, so that's good. Anyway, from Cottage and City, at Stonehenge. Hope you've enjoyed this informative interactive video experience. And uh, remember to like and subscribe because I am so hungry for, for popularity. I live a long way from civilization. All right. Take it easy. Ciao, ciao. Thank you.